The San Francisco Board of Supervisors just caved to the anti-police mob. I guess maybe we shouldn't be surprised, but it's still frustrating. Last week, the Board of Supervisors, in an 8-3 to three vote, granted the city's police department the ability to use remote-controlled robots, which could be armed with explosives and operated by trained officers in an effort to save police and potentially citizens' lives. They would only be used in extraordinary circumstances, such as when a mass shooter or terrorist is threatening the lives of police or civilians. These are not autonomous robots. No one's tapping in. These are, these are trained police officers that would utilize a robot that instead of a police officer or other members of the public being injured or killed by this individual, we would send the robot in and we would use force that way. And we would save lives in doing that. San Francisco police already have a dozen functioning ground robots used to assess bombs or provide eyes in low visibility situations. And the use of these potentially deadly robots would require very high level authorization before they could be used. And last week, before the mobs went after them, it was clear to the more practical board members that this shouldn't have been a tough call. There's been a lot of talk about RoboCop or, you know, which I think sets, you know, a whole lot of minds going to a whole lot of different places. But this is, this is not that. I think it would be irresponsible not to make some kind of plan to use that technology in that poor, horrific eventuality. Thank God we've never had to use this type of weaponry. But you know what? As Supervisor Dorsey said, I'm really glad we have it. But then... The woke mob came calling and on Monday protested the robots outside City Hall. Any tool that the police have that they say they're only going to use for like rare and extraordinary circumstances eventually has always ended up becoming a mainstream tool that they use with very much regularly. Um, and the most important problem is that just like every other tool that they've ever used, these tools and these weapons of war are primarily used against black and brown people. The board quickly, of course, backtracked and now unanimously reversed course, yesterday halting the lethal robot policy. Nothing changed apart from the outside pressure groups who would rather see, it seems, police officers potentially die than risk that a suspect gets hurt. And these robots aren't anything new. We've seen how effective they can be. In 2016 in Dallas, a robot armed with explosives was used to kill a man who shot and killed five police officers. And in 2017, a robot was used to breach the door of the gunman who opened fire from his Las Vegas high-rise hotel room, killing 60 people in the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history. Now that the San Francisco board is caved, the legislation goes back to committee, supposedly to debate it more, I'm betting more likely to, do not, to die. Joining me now, though, is someone who's been intellectually consistent on this, Dean Preston, member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, who voted both times against the use of robots for lethal force. Thank you very much for coming on the program. What am I getting wrong here? Well, I think the main thing, and first off, thanks for having me on. I, I think the main thing is the idea of what you describe as a woke mob. What I will say is um, that we heard, I heard from thousands of people since this original vote, um, and there was near consensus that people did not want our San Francisco Police Department to have robots that can kill people. Like, so th that is, well, this is not a fringe position. Well, I would say that the vast majority of people, overwhelming majority of people, not just in San Francisco, we heard from people all across the nation, uh, do but, not feel comfortable with entrusting police department with that kind of- But isn't that technology. not surprising, right? That the idea that the people yelling and screaming, this is the way it always happens, right? The loudest people in the room are the ones who are screaming about it. And these are the people who hate the police in general, and they don't want to give the police any more tools, et cetera. And yeah, it's San Francisco, but there was a major shift. I mean, you were consistent. I give you credit for that. You were one of the three who voted against it. What about the other eight who suddenly decided, oh, you know, maybe this isn't a good idea. Come on, that is, that is I don't think it's unfair. And I don't use woke all the time the way some people do. This seems to me to be a classic example of the woke mob, no? 
No, I, I think that this is, you know, there was zero showing made by the police department of any need for this technology at all. And people are concerned whether they favor more policing or less. I found that folks who normally are fully in support of police were still concerned about the idea of taking this step. Now Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.